everyone. Welcome to the lab. Uh, today's episode is going to be about toxicity and how to deal with it. And this is going to be a rant from my personal experience. Okay? So fuck you. Anyway, toxicity in games, it's a big problem. And it's going to be a bigger problem if we're not going to handle it. And I feel like a lot of people don't know how to handle the toxicity that they encounter in games. But before we go that, a small hashtag sellout. Thank you, Elgato, for the stream deck and other hardware that I'm using. Like the green screen in the back. So, the thing is, dude, I redid the intro like four times. I'm old. <sighs> Give me a second. Uh, all right. So, the thing is with the toxicity is that you have to tackle it at the first moment. From my personal experience, if someone is in your game and is passive aggressive, is being making really weird remarks, uh, yelling like in your mic, or uh, my favorite, when someone dies and goes, <sighs> oh God, mm. those type of communications, they only will tilt you and they will never get better. Those people have really bad habits on how to behave in social situations in games. So typically, the best way of dealing with players like that is the one-strike policy that I use. If someone is toxic, is clogging the comms, is being passive-aggressive, sighing and, and, and oh godding into the mic, you just mute. You just mute them so they will never tilt you. Giving those people a second chance in 95% of the like situations is not important because it never did like they never get better if someone is that type of player he will never get better in the first place but also when someone has a toxic comment that's typically a pattern those people those people will have this kind of behavior every single time someone is sexist homophobic racist you mute and you report. And now that is a very important thing. When it comes to reporting, there's actually something that people don't know. And I think it helps Riot a lot. When you go into the game, right? When you go into the game, you go to the, go to the scoreboard and you want to report someone. I, I, I'm going to click on reporting to someone on, on a player here. So please, he wasn't toxic. I'm going to go for Hans, my duo. So you click report and you now have to like explain what, what happened, right? If someone is yelling like some obscenities into my mic, I'm just gonna go comes abuse voice, sabotaging the team and disrespectful behavior. And I'm gonna do a report like this. Round seven. Screams obscenities into the mic, right? You try to be as precise as possible when it comes to reporting this because player support from Riot that will look at those reports will lose less time and be more effective into taking account of those reports because they will be explicitly told what to look for, right? So it's very simple also when someone just wrote in chat because the logs are being like, you know, just kept in. So just report that what you hear, say which round, what happened, because then the player support uh, personnel that looks at this uh, exact scenario will know what to look for and if they see that Hans in round 7 screamed obscenities into the mic and they see oh yeah right well this guy is right okay we're banning him or suspending or whatever right and they go for the next job so they don't have to spend 20 minutes on this one player to look for the voice comms that he was toxic in right so that's a big difference and also like one can argue but what if you just Muting them and you don't hear like any passiveness, uh, any toxicity later on, so on and so on. So in my eyes, most important is to not get affected by people who are acting like that. So muting them is more important than actually hearing the evidence of being toxic. So um, I think in many cases you can just report after one thing because people are just obnoxious in this game. And it's a big problem. And I hope it's a community's problem. It's not Riot's problem. It's this player's behavior. Player's behavior can only get punished harder to make people not act this way, but it will not change the way they think. So we can only punish them post factum. And that's a big thing to understand. You need to report behavior like that to keep it cleaner in general. 
And in most cases, when someone is toxic one time, that shows patterns that will be happening over time. So even if, don't think the way, I'm not going to report it, he did it just only one time. Report that. That player is most likely toxic in other games as well. And if he's going to get consistently reported for toxic behavior, he's going to get punished. And another thing is, I want to touch a little bit about sexism games. It's insane to me. It's just absolutely mental to me how people behave in those games. I, I'm planning actually of you on using the voice changer to sound like a girl, play on an account with my VCT game changer title, and just show you how it looks, how the experience looks for female players in our community, in any community. It's obnoxious, it's, it's disgraceful, and I urge every single player that is a witness of that kind of behavior, please act. Okay? You have a girl playing with you that is being an object of sexist comments. Please defend her. Please say something that is just, just tell off that player who is sexist. Mute them and tell off. And that is another advice that I give to every single woman, girl that is playing this game. First remark, mute them. Continue giving comps. Be a good player. Be a good teamwork um, uh, player as well. And just give the communications like nothing happened. But stand up. Hopefully someone else stands up for you and mute them. They're going to scream into the abyss because you're not going to hear them back. But you want to be someone who stands up for yourself. And it's much easier to stand up for yourself if you plaster the mouth of the opponent. Right? Someone is sexist towards you. Mute them. Tell them that, you know, whatever you want, the way you want to defend yourself is, is okay. They, they never going to have a response to you because you're never going to hear it. So, yeah, but I think it's very important for us, for us as a community, to not promote toxic, tox, toxic behavior in chat. Sorry, not in chat, in game. It, it's absolutely ridiculous how often, like just today, I had homophobic remarks in chat, right? In, in the game, in the voice chat. Um, yeah, two days ago, on Friday, three days ago, uh, we had everything, literally everything. Racism, homophobia, um, toxic anger, like everything in every single uh, game. And it's atrocious. And I hope that you guys will be a good teammate, report those people, and keep the game clean because the only thing that keeps ranked from being an enjoyable experience is the toxicity and the lack of cooperation and the antagonism that is being cooked and stewed in this soup that is just not eatable. It's just a piece of toxic... You know? So yeah, uh, that's about it. Hopefully, we're going to take matters in our ha own hands, help Riot get rid of the bad apples, and that's about it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Lotus Lab.